alone players have departed this week in, in Lembakisa and Onyedinma. Can you just talk to, to us about the process for both those players going back and ultimately the parent clubs and the conversations that you've kind of had with them? Yeah, firstly, I want to thank uh, both players, uh, Dexter and Fred, you know, for the for the time and the effort that they put in, uh, you know, with the Rotherham, Rotherham shirt. You know, the the parent clubs thank thank themselves, uh, thank them as well for you know allowing them to come across. Uh, but yeah, with with Wolves, uh, they called Dexter back um, with a view to improving him and uh, excelling his pathway to to whichever way they obviously um, deem is is the right one for for him. Uh, again, you know been fantastic person while he's been here and with Fred it's just been unfortunate really with the injuries that he's got he's, he's picked up another injury which will see him out for some some weeks and um, you know with with discussion with with the player it's himself which is the most important uh, and the clubs it was just I think it was the best all round that uh, you know we freed that loan space up and hopefully um, add to the squad where people can help us in the here and now rather than in you know seven eight weeks time. I wanted to ask you a general question about loans is every loan agreement slightly different potentially you know where the parent clubs get a choice on whether players are called whether the the club that's loaned them has that choice whether both teams kind of agree to it themselves you know does every deal a little bit different yes of course they are you know it's every every deal is is, is on its merit it's a different you know kind of circumstance with most most deals and and obviously as you know all these deals have been done before i came into the building so there's there's certain things in there where Certain clubs can keep them, certain clubs can send them back and, you know, different stipulations within that. So, you know, we can only control what we can control and, uh, you know, we'll move forward the best we can. As you mentioned, it does free up a bit of space. Are you any closer to bringing in any players to join your team? Uh, listen, we're trying, you know, we're trying hard. We're, you know, Rob Rob and the, the guys, are, you know, the recruitment, they're trying, you know, desperately hard to, to add to the group because obviously we need, we need that, them bodies, we need the quality of player to to kind of set to the challenges that we've got ahead of us so uh you know fingers crossed we can we can come to some cuts you know some kind of conclusions in the in the coming days so uh, i mean it is stuff close then and, and what is the market like at the moment because uh we're in the middle of the month is, is this when things maybe start to pick up or, or is that still some time off do you think yeah i think everybody's very similar aren't they? i mean from a from a manager coach's point of view uh, you know, you want you want bodies in, and you want real good numbers to work with, don't you? More or less, you know, two weeks ago. But sometimes it's it's out of your control. Um, it's out of certain people's control. Other clubs have got decisions to make. So you know, we're in, we're in the race with with everybody else, and uh, you know, we're doing our best to try and you know get get to some conclusions and, and add quality to the group that we've got. When when you sort of speak to fans or you sort of see what they're saying at the moment, some of them are quite eager to see some movement, uh, given where the team is in the league. So. Well, what's kind of the message to them, I guess, at this point in the month as you try and get some deals done? Yeah, I'm exactly the same as they are. <laughs> Eager to get things done, to get bodies in the building. Um, you know, many discussions have taken place uh, where, you know, departments have, have kind of got to, you know, act accordingly and, and, you know, come together and make them positive decisions for the football club. So, fingers crossed, we can do that uh, sooner rather than later. Is it just a fact of life that given where you are in the table, it might be harder to convince clubs to either loan their younger players to you if you were looking for that type of player or even convince players to sign for you given that the invitation is to come and join a, a relegation fight. I won't look at any negatives, no. I think uh, it's a fantastic football club. I'd like to think, you know, coached very well, managed very well, great, you know, kind of people within within the teamwork of the of the squad. Uh, so we we only want to add quality to that, and um, I would like to think that we, I, um, and the and the staff and the players would enhance anybody's career, whether young, young or old. Um, so I think it'd be a positive move, regardless of you know we're in a really competitive league in the championship. So for anybody to come and you know play twenty games and be a part of possibly you know us staying in the championship, it'd be a real positive for anybody. Looking at the game, Stoke have got a new boss uh, as well, who's taken over recently. So, what do you expect from this match of the weekend? Yeah, you expect the same as most Championship games—a really healthy challenge. Uh, Stoke have probably been in this league, you know, a year or two longer than what they'd, they'd have liked. Um, you know, change of manager. Um, so you'd ex listen. They've got a quality of play. I mean, you look at their squad; it's a fantastic squad. Real balance. 
um, you know, real attacking potent threats all over the pitch. Um, so they'll come with, with, with like normal, you know, with, with a real strong elder challenge for, for ourselves. But it's one that we're looking forward to. It's one that we can, you know, that we prepared, you know, well for. So fingers crossed we can, we can get a positive result. Are you encouraged by your last few games in the league? And have you become tougher to, to beat? Is that really a foundation that you need us? I think you've got to look at the attributes that you've got within your squad and try and get the best out of, of the attributes. Like I've said before, you know, it'd be it'd be easy for me to come in and play open, expansive, dynamic football. If if you know we've we've got you know no wide players or you know we've got certain individuals that you know kind of their attributes don't stand out. So I think the you know the the games that we've played, the output that the lads have given has been fantastic. The, the performance levels that they've given. You know, since I've been in, and be very good. That's individually and collectively, and you know, I think they're, they're coming together very strongly within that. Um, they know the challenge, um, and with all due respect, they've stepped up to to every challenge so far that I've set them, and and we'll keep trying to raise that that level of of certainly um, you know efficiency from ourselves into the games. How has Peter Kioso settled back in, and could he be involved this weekend? Uh, yes, yeah, I mean, come back in, been been welcomed by myself, the staff, and the players. Uh, very well, so you know, again, is is one that we'll we'll add to the squad and add to the framework in what we're doing to build in January. Peter have kind of made some noises that they're they're still interested in signing him. Have they have they actually come back in with an offer? And you know, is that still a situation that's quite fluid, really? I will concentrate on Saturday's game, if you don't mind. I think we spoke too much about our player, about other people' comments, regardless of of what they are or who they are. Some things we aren't in control of. We aren't in control of any football team making offers for our players. Um, so, you know, we want to keep all our players, we want to evolve ourselves. Uh, and everybody's important as, as, as everybody else. So we'll move on from that. Um, so it's been a busy, it's been a hectic Christmas period. Um, finally, a week on the training pitch building up to the game against Stoke City. It must have been nice just to, as you say, get a full normal week of training into, the, into yourself before this game. Yeah, yeah, it was probably it was needed, um, and it was beneficial for us. Like, it's as you say, the period Christmas period's been mad. You better get to train. Um, essentially, it's all about recovery. Like, so yeah, to get a few days to work on a few different ideas and and um, different tactical kind of nuances, it, it's uh, it'll hopefully kind of pay off now in the coming weeks. Like, and head coach Liam Richardson, he's since he's come in, he's, he's barely at any time on the training pitch, has he? So he's, I suppose, this week has he sort of been putting across a, a few of his messages as we, as we sort of move in because it has been so chaotic since he walked through the door, really. Yeah, that's what I said. That's essentially yeah. It's it's, it's um it was a difficult period there, that Christmas period. Like um, so yeah, for him to kind of get it's it's all well and good, kind of trying to get your ideas across, you know, off the field through videos and analysis and it's much easier when you can kind of run through it and, and train properly, like, um, and yeah, it's definitely been been, uh, been useful for us this week, like. There's been a little bit of momentum built up over the festive period as well. We say that it's a really crucial time of the season to get five points from that and could be unbeaten in the league heading into the Stoke game. Has it given the lads and the rest of the team just a little bit of a boost? It has, yeah, yeah. It, it, um, it shows that kind of we're moving in the right direction a little bit and to go through games unbeaten and in champ at any stage is is uh, a good feat like so we'll, we'll yeah that's like positives from that and that kind of shows on the importance of this game on, on Saturday against them as well. And back, back home as well as we say the two games before that home against Middlesbrough and Sunderland two teams chasing for promotion we were more than a match for both of those teams so I guess going into a game against the pot is another good side, of course, but that can give you confidence going into this one. Yeah, yeah, our form all year, I think, has been good. Um, and yeah, so and we know that we know that we what we can do at home when we can hurt teams. Um, and we, we're, we've always looked a threat, I don't think, no matter who we, we play against at home. So, well, yeah, there'll be no fear. And as we're ready, we're in school.